Good morning guys and welcome back to Demo Drives, bringing real reviews to real people and answering some of those questions other channels might not talk about. I've come down to the Millbrook Proving Ground with Volkswagen and I'm going to take out the latest Polo GTI. It's a cool looking car. I actually thought it was a golf to start with, they've grown so much more. But under the bonnet, 2 litre, turbocharged 4 cylinder, 207 brake horsepower, 350 newton metres of torque, 16 in around 6.5 seconds. So let's get in the car and we'll go for a drive on the faster route, on the bowl section, and then up onto some more exciting tight and twisty roads. So welcome to the inside of the new Polo GTI. Ah, we've got a DSG box in here, put on the brake. Start the car. Let's go and have some fun. The Polo GTI, I drove one a few years ago. It was, a, I think, the 1.6, and it certainly wasn't as uh, grown up as this. So we're going to put it in drive. Let's go and have some fun. It's a very, very capable car, this. It's a bit more potent than the previous. That's my friend at Petrol Ped. So, um, yeah, it's a bit more powerful than the previous generation. Not a huge amount, but over 200 brake horsepower is quite a lot for such a small car. While we're heading over to some more interesting bits of road, let's have a quick look at the cockpit here. Got digital cockpit, which is really nice, customizable. It's the same with a lot of the Volkswagen Audi group look. Large touchscreen over here. I think this is not the top of the range because we've got some physical buttons. I'll put a card up if I've got that wrong because I've only got the car for 25 minutes. And that included setting the cameras up as well. <laughs> That's really difficult. But hopefully this quick drive will give you an idea. It really is the ultimate first impressions of a car. But I'm looking forward to this. I've always liked sporty golfs and sporty polos. Hot hatches, really. So here we go. We're going onto the high speed bowl here. This is up to 100 mile an hour. That gives us a good range of acceleration and cruising speed. So, go out to the middle lane. So this is more your motorway cruising speed. So 60 or 70 miles an hour. And the road noise is good. It's very compliant. I mean, <laughs> 60 miles an hour and I thought we were doing about 40. Let's go out to the next lane and we can get a bit more acceleration. Kick down's good. Going 80, 90. It's just coming up 100 now. That is really impressive. I think the noisiest thing is actually the cameras on the front of the car actually. <laughs> That's, yeah, really good. I'm quite surprised how grown up it feels in here. The fact we're sitting at 100 in a polo, <laughs> they've come on a huge amount. I remember when they first came out, they were probably about half the size of this. But it's, it's just a nice place to be in here. The only things, we have got touch type buttons on the steering wheel. 
So, not always a massive fan of those, but it's the way a lot of Volkswagen Audi Group cars are going, it's all touch and haptic. In fact, all cars seem to be going like that. So, what we're going to do now, we've done some fast driving, which is a bit boring to be honest, but it was just proof it can happily sit at 100 mile an hour, so that's great if you're in <laughs> Germany. We want to go on some more exciting routes. There is a course here at Millbrook which is supposed to sort of emulate the Norschleife. It's about a five mile um, route which is really cool. So I think we're going to go on that. Some nice sports seats in here, quite supportive. Great view out the front, it's just in general a nice driving position. We can change what we see on the display here in front of me. You can press this little view button and scroll through different settings. We've got some bumpy bits of stuff on the road, which is simulating, well, bumpy bits of stuff on British roads, probably potholes, which are very, very common, unfortunately, <laughs> on British roads. But let's see how we get on with this. Now we're starting to get into some more tight and twisty and exciting bits of road. This is the reason you'd buy a, a GTI, is for bits of road like this. I spend hours going around here. So we're going to go over to using the paddles and push on a bit more. And we've got some noises. I suspect they're not real, but does that matter? Mm, no, absolutely not. Hard up the hill. We've got a nice turning. I mean, we're doing 55 around that corner <laughs> and it wasn't even starting to slip, obviously front wheel drive, but what a fun little car this is. Brakes have got some really nice feel. Let's push it round here, drop a gear as we go up the hill. about these hot hatches is it can be sedate and quite sensible good for going to the shops if you've got a family it's it's okay you're probably better off with a golf to be honest but for me and my lifestyle <laughs> me and my wife and the dog this would be an absolutely perfect car not sure they'd quite enjoy this type of driving <laughs> but I'm certainly enjoying it So there we go guys, this is the new Polo GTI. What a fun little car this is. It sounds good, it's quite practical, we've got a reasonable size boot. It would be perfect for me, the missus and the dog. <laughs> so what more could you want? I like the tech in here, it's very modern looking. Not a massive fan of some of these touch buttons over on the steering wheel and I could do with more physical buttons. It's nice the fact that the climate control is actually on a separate unit as well though, because some cars I've driven, all of this is integrated into here and you need to poke around in menus. So this is a good compromise. If you've got to have a touch screen, at least you've got them separated. So there we go guys, that is the Polo GTI. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the brand new 2022 Polo GTI. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. And remember to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.